All right, what's going on there, folks? Good evening. Uh, good morning to some out there. It is kind of late out here for an update, but it uh, better late than never, right? It is the Earthmaster here on this uh, technically early Monday morning, October 30th, 2023. Uh, it is about 12.04 a.m. California time here. Latest activity shows at 1.9 uh, on the uh, Big Island of Hawaii. We did have some activity stirring up up here across the Kurokamachaka Trench. Notice that 5.1 and a 4.3 here across the subduction zone area. USGS uh, picking up on that activity as well. Let's go ahead and zoom in here to the west coast and see what we got as far as uh, any activity uptick. Mount St. Helens still seeing some earthquake activity out here in the last 24 hours. No major change in terms of multitude or magnitudes, but still just an earthquake uh, swarm out there. It's been ongoing here for about 45 days. Uh, also some activity stirring up here across Mount Rainier. A little bit less activity compared to the Mount St. Helens area. As uh, far as Northern California goes, a little bit of movement here across the uh, Bay Area, south of Concord, a 1.3 coming in. As uh, far as Southern California goes, pretty spotty. Not a whole lot going on. A little small microquake activity stirring up out there. And the rest of the states here, they look pretty quiet. Not a whole lot of unusual movement stirring up out there. Most of the activity today has been confined here to the west, uh, western areas of the Pacific Plate and adjacent plates, as you can see, uh, around the East China Sea, where we did see some activity stirring up here uh, throughout the afternoon and early evening time period with uh, quite a few fours out there in this region, up and down the Mariana Trench as well. Uh, well, I should say Izu Trench in between this area. Actually, didn't we call this here uh, last night to watch this area in between this region for some further activity? I think we did. But we did see a 4.9 uh, Volcano Islands here in the uh, Japan region. It's right in between the Izu Trench and the Mariana Trench. Pretty deep, 122 kilometers uh, for some of that earthquake activity. Uh, down here across New Zealand, a 3.8 coming in and being reported by the USGS. Goodness. Uh, just south of Wellington, North Island area, just off of the plate boundary. Let's go ahead and double check the uh, uh, GeoNet servers here and see what we got far as earthquakes go. I want to go back here to the earthquake. 3.0, uh, three hours ago. There, it looks like the GeoNet server is reporting this as a 4.2 compared to a 3.8 there from the USGS. So they claiming that's a moderate earthquake with 215 reports being uh, uh, tallied out here, most of it around the Wellington area. Um, I do want to check out the uh, drums here far as the uh, movement goes. Obviously, if it's a 4.2, we should see it showing up out here. I, I do see some of that seismograph activity showing up here across the uh wellington area but it, to me it doesn't look like it's a 4.2 it looks a little bit smaller at least that's my uh, judgment here in terms of reading a seismograph station and i look at them quite often out here but uh a handful of earthquakes it looks like they're across the area of new zealand today 3.8 or take your pick a 4.2 being the largest there across the wellington area uh, the Big Island of Hawaii, still watching this area for some movement around Kilauea Volcano. And uh, they're just kind of seeing a little earthquake activity here south of the summit. Roughly uh, some shallow and somewhat deeper earthquake activity stirring up out here across the Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. And uh, it's just been an ongoing thing there. And we'll continue to watch that and report back on any unusual activity. Uh, typical movement here across the Indonesia region as well. Not a whole lot going on across the Java Trench, according to the USGS. And uh, a look here on the globe shows, uh, well, most of the activity definitely shifting up north here uh, across this northwestern edge of the Pacific Plate Boundary. Definitely noticeable here today. Uh, so we'll continue to watch that uh, for some movement. Uh, 4.7 down there in Morocco. Let's see what we got here across this area. Uh, USGS reporting this as a 4.3 um, earlier this evening. Uh, wow, a 2.8 being reported there in Spain. That's a little unusual for the USGS to report that. Uh, aside from that, some movement out in the Mid-Atlantic Ridge and a little bit of activity across the Greece area. Uh, but somewhat active out here across this region today. 
uh, further to the south and east, a little bit of movement out here in the, uh, it looks like the divergent boundary of 4.3 occurring out here. Off the coast of Oman area, the Arabian Sea, seeing that 4.3 in the Owen Fracture Zone. Oceanic crust uh, divergent boundary out there. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Let me check out the trimmer map tonight. See what we have. Uh, zero. Zip. Nada. Zero trimmers. And that's along the Cascadia subduction zone. Not a whole lot going on there, folks. Unfortunately, uh, it's uh, it comes and goes. As uh, far as earthquake activity at Yellowstone National Park, there's not a whole lot to report here. Things look fairly minimal as far as the readings go. Space weather activity uh, brought to you by SolarHam.net. Well, um, they were forecasting some G1 class storming here over the next couple nights. It looks like it has been somewhat minor in terms of solar storming uh, with only reaching up around the KP index of 4 or so. Now, I'm not for sure if that includes the arrival of that uh, high-speed solar wind stream from the coronal holes that have been facing us. That's going to be this area 66. Uh, it took a couple days for the arrival of that solar wind stream. It is expected around the 30th, 31st time frame, so we'll continue to watch that. Right now, the latest image shows that coronal hole pretty much out of sight, out of mind there across the uh, western limb of the sun. And we are left with um, a couple sunspots out here. Let's see what we got. See if anything has uh, transpired here in terms of complexity. Uh, this area that we have been watching down here on the southern hemisphere of the sun has grown further uh, since this morning's update. And notice the complexity there within the core, the magnetic structure showing uh, numerous different uh, structures there in different colors. Continue to watch this area maybe for some M-flare activity. Uh, right now, there's a 15% chance for M-flare, 60% chance for a C-flare. Uh, not a whole lot for X-flare, but uh, definitely I see an M-flare probability there within 3474. We'll watch that. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Anything going on far as weather activity goes? Well, let's go ahead and double check that real quick. High pressure out here across the West Coast. And that means low pressure. Lots of cold air dipping down into the Midwest and the uh, Great Lakes area, covering pretty much the eastern portion of the United States out here with some much cooler temperature there for Halloween. And um, after that, it's a uh, guessing game, so to speak, in terms of uh, any major changes going on. I don't see it out there in the future in terms of this weather model. Uh, but for at least the next few days here, Cooler temperatures are expected across the area of the eastern uh, states and also uh, out here across the west. We're looking at some mild uh, temperatures, supposed to be in the mid-70s, low 70s or so for Halloween. Nights are a little cool, but not that bad. All right, uh, let's see. Let's check out the um, live seismograph stations. They look uh, fairly calm. Not a whole lot of activity stirring up on them currently. Uh, lost the Fiji station there for some reason, so we'll get rid of that and add New Zealand up there. Uh, just kind of uh, watching things here today, seeing how they play out. Um, you know, broader area here across the western Pacific plate, uh, western portions of that Pacific plate. Uh, also, some activity stirring up here across the Filipino plate here on the northwestern side. Uh, definitely seeing a, a migration of that uh, momentum, so to speak, here across this area. So we'll continue to watch that. Uh, South America region, earlier activity. It looks like some fours out there, mostly deeper movement quakes. But All right, folks, I'm going to jump off here. It's a little late, a little past my bedtime, so I'm going to call it a night. Take care, and we'll catch you guys back here tomorrow, which is, uh, what is tomorrow, Monday? Well, I, Well, today's Monday, technically, if you... Want to get uh, down to it? Uh, it is technically Monday right now, October 30th, early in the morning. We'll catch you guys a little bit later on this morning.